Hi, my name is Mark Evershed and welcome to my third video. This one we're going to entitle, What's the Moon Made Out Of? And I'll tell you why a little later. Right away I want to get into how to practice correctly. What we're going to do in the video is show you how to practice correctly, then later on we're going to show you the details that go into making up the golf swing for all those people that would like to study it a little bit deeper and it's something everyone should know. But at the beginning, we're going to do some practice drills and show you how to conduct your practice sessions every time that you go to the golf course or to the practice tee. So later on, when you have trouble on the golf course, you can come home to the video, take it right back to the beginning and go over and over and over again. This game should be the most boring game on earth because you're doing the same things over and over and over again. You know, people are asking about consistency all the time. Well, consistency comes through knowledge, then time spent practicing. Each time I practice, I go through the same order of events each time. You see, I see the golf swing as made up of my golf club, my hands, and my arms. When I go to the practice tee, I work on each one at a time, and then I learn to put them all together, just like you would gymnastics or aerobics or tai chi or karate or boxing, all those things. To organize the mind, you should practice in the same order each time. Don't jump all over the place. Okay, I'm going to show you where I start. Each time I go to the practice tee, I start with my hands first. I'm going to show them what to do, and then I'm going to practice them. The trick here, secret if you, if you, if you would, is you have to know what they're supposed to do, then you've got to know how to practice them. So I'm going to show you that now, then I'll get more in detail later in the video to exactly what they do. Okay, all I want to do is work on my hands. At the time I'm doing this, I'm showing them what I want from them, and then I check them out. You have to notice when I'm visually checking them out. I play golf by pictures. I grow my pictures by seeing what correct is, and I do not mean what the ball's doing. I mean what I'm doing. I have to have a very clear picture in my mind of what I am expecting my hands, my arms, my body to do. I have to show it to them. The same way you would learn all those other things, piano, you learn to go slow first. So every time I go to the practice tee, I'm going to take five minutes, or let's say ten balls. Take ten balls and work on your hands. But for that ten balls, don't pay attention to your body, don't look at your feet, don't look at your arms, don't do any of that, just pay attention to the hands. Educate them and they'll be the best friend you've ever had in golf. If they're left uneducated, you'll have years of frustration. Okay, I'm going to show them what I want them to do. My right wrist is bent, my left wrist is flat. Can't see on that uh, camera, but I'll show you a little bit later on. Okay, so I'm going to hit some with just my hands. No body motion, very little arm motion. Just checking to make sure that they're working correctly. Don't for a second get caught up in this muscle memory stuff. If you do, I think what will happen is you go to the practice tee and you'll make these swings hoping that your muscles remember this. And you'll practice years and all of a sudden you'll find out that your muscles didn't remember anything. Your brain is the only thing that has a memory. You have to teach it what you want it to do. And it's like a computer. You tell the computer what to do. You don't ask of it to do something. You tell it what to do my hands. You know, my hands, every time I've asked them to do something today, every time I've asked them to do it, they've done it. So why not in golf? They're not about to do something wrong if they're educated on what right is. Our job is to show you what right is. Your job is to practice it. Just my hands. Ten balls. That's all you need. You don't have to hit hundreds of golf balls. Just say ten. Make sure they're working correctly. Practice them. Make sure you, they did what you wanted them to. Now here's the secret in learning though. If they didn't do exactly what you wanted them to, what I would like for you to do is every time they do it wrong, I'd like you to fix them. Every time they do it wrong, I'd like you to fix them. When you're at the beginning stages of getting this correct, they make, make, may make some mistakes. But keep showing them what right is, and they will eventually get it. 
please don't get caught up in what everybody else always gets caught up in, making the mistake and say, oh, damn, I'll try it again. Oh, damn, I'll try it again. Don't enter the project like that. Tell them what you want them to do. If they make a mistake, fix them. It won't be long until they don't make it anymore. Keep doing it this way. Eventually, they'll keep getting it right. And once they do get it right, I just can't see them breaking again once they know what it correct is. Okay, so show them what correct is and then work on them. Once you got those correct, the next step is to work on what the arms are supposed to do in a golf swing. Remember with the hands, 76% of all the potential power or speed that I can create in a golf swing comes from the educated motion of my hands. Get them correct and you'll add a lot of distance to your shot. Left uneducated, funny things are going to happen out there. Take a few seconds each time you go to the practice tee, work on them, get them right. That's how I work on my hands. Okay, the next linkage in my chain here is my arms. I must teach them what to do. I don't know if I've ever seen a video or um, a book actually teach you or tell you what your arms are supposed to do. And if they did, I think what they were saying was incorrect or is very misleading. I believe you as I were led to believe, suggested, or something that our arms should swing straight down the line. Well, that breaks all the laws of geometry. That is not what I do. That is what some people feel. It is what cameras make it look like it does, but they don't go straight. If the game, the golf club, were a pendulum, and if it was built straight up and down, then I would absolutely agree with that thought process. 97% of the people in the world that are right-handed hit the golf ball to the right of their target almost all the time. 97% of people that are left-handed hit it to the left of the target almost all the time. And that's my opinion, is because they're trying to swing their arms straight, where the arms don't want to go straight. Geometrically wise, they don't. I can make them do that, but it doesn't give me a good result. See, here's where we have a problem. We'll get into it a little bit later on in the tape, where cause and effect come into it. But for now, I want to show you how I practice them. When I'm working on just my arms, the same theory is true what I do with my hands. I would like you for that moment in time, those 10 golf balls, to only work on the swinging motion of the arms. Don't pay attention to the body, don't pay attention to the feet, don't pay attention to the hands, just pay attention to the arms. Again, teach them what you want them to do. This is called swinging on plane. You're going to see some really kind of different looking stuff out on the PGA Tour starting, well, it started last year, but you're going to see more of it lit this year and more in the future, where these guys are going to make these really weird-looking swings. You're not going to understand what they're do doing. The commentators aren't going to have time on uh, very valuable air time to tell you exactly what they're doing, even if they knew what they were doing. But I'm going to show you what you're going to see them doing. I can't show you from this angle because you wouldn't see it. That camera is two-dimensional. It's not three-dimensional. It can't catch depth. Okay, so I'm going to turn this way and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to work on my follow through first. I allow my arms to swing left. I allow them to swing left of me. You see, it's a responsibility of the arms to square up the club face. The better I swing them to the left, the better I square up the club face. So I spend time swinging my arms to the left. Where I used to spend time trying to make teach them to go straight, and I did. I taught them very well to go straight. Problem was the ball kept going to the right. I now know better. So I spent time practicing forward swing, swinging them to the left. I know people think that's slicing the ball, but keep watching the whole video and I'll show you how this doesn't happen to cause a slice. On my back swing, my arms are swinging up and in. 